hello guys welcome to get money point pos youtube channel and um, on this youtube channel we try to solve various challenges agents may encounter using the money point pos or directly on their wallet account all right so if you have been watching my video um look at samuel lamide i'm a business relationship manager for money point and um, i believe my videos um would have helped you in one way or the other specifically this youtube channel we discuss challenges um, issues that can occur if you are using a pos so this is a very very important channel you should subscribe to if you have a pos all right so first and first guys i want to appreciate those that have subscribed to our youtube channel thank you so much for subscribing guys and for those that have not subscribed please click on the subscribe button to subscribe right this is going to enable you to be notified whenever we release a new video you'll be notified and it's also going to encourage us to make more videos when we see people subscribing to our channel all right and please remember to like this video because this video particularly is a very important video that every pos owner must or should see okay so when you are watching this video please like this video so that it can be youtube is going to push it out to people that are interested in seeing this video all right and lastly remember to share this video to your friends your colleagues that have a pos all right so this video section is um literally going to be divided into two the first part i'll be talking on the recent um um, policy of CBN and I is going to affect the market and the second part I'll be giving you the advantages you can retain as um, a business owner if you have a money point POS all right if you have a money point POS there is always a way out all right so money point has come in in this situation to balance the issue the policy on ground so that we are not you are not totally out of the market all right so please ensure you stay till the end of this video remember to subscribe like and also share all right so let's start with the first um the first section that we'll be talking about the policy all right so we all know about the new policy i'll be taking you to my screen so that we can i can give you a brief um video on that then i will speak on it then i'll also give you the way out of this if you have a pos your business is um, can still stand this period if you can stay and watch this video all right guys it's very very important okay so now let's go to my screen and i want to show you on the screen before i speak on it so okay guys so now we are on my screen so this is the recent um policy that we have okay um by cpn that is going to kick start by um january 9 all right so the first one um uh, I'll be speaking basically for the first um, the first part that um, includes and generally affects POS owners. Okay, the maximum cash withdrawal over the counter by individuals, corporate organizations per week ends for to be one hundred thousand and five hundred thousand respectively. Withdraw above this limit shall attract a processing fee of five and ten percent respectively. All right. So um, the third point, let's go to the third point. The maximum cash withdrawal per week via automated teller machine shall be 100,000 subject to a maximum of 20,000 cash withdrawal per day. All right. So um, the maximum cash withdrawal via point of sale, which is POS terminal, shall be 20,000 Nera daily. Okay, 20,000 Nera daily. Shall be 20,000 Nera daily. All right, guys. So um, I just had to read it directly from the screen so that I can now explain it to you guys. There is nothing to panic about. You can survive this policy, especially if you have a money point POS. This is basically even the time that you can even still do better if you can manage the situation well and watch this video and listen to my explanation all right so um i will be picking the first and the third point that has to do um with the pos owners okay so according to the third um the third um point that we have here it means the maximum cash withdrawal a customer can come to transact on your pos is twenty thousand euro. all right this is a big issue in the sense that um, you cannot um, get people to do transaction above 20,000 Nera. That's the first. Okay. Secondly, for a withdrawal. Secondly, you cannot... Um, um, basically, there are even some people that have done transaction for the whole day. That means they have already done their own 20,000. 
So if they still need money, how do you come in? All right. So this is the first advantage you have if you have a money point base. All right. So this is where you switch to your POS transfer feature. All right. So the POS transfer feature allows you to receive a transfer directly on your POS and it counts that transaction as a withdrawal transaction. Do you understand this, guys? When a customer wants to get cash from you, a customer wants to get cash from you, the POS transfer features allows the customer to transfer directly into the account number on your POS and the POS is going to read it as a withdrawal transaction but it's not going to be affected by this policy. Do you understand? Because the transaction was not done on the card. And basically this feature is only money point that has this feature. That's why I said this is uh, um, basically an advantage to people that have a money point POS. All right. So you can bypass this number three process. Not necessarily bypass, but you can manage this number three process by using the POS transfer feature. All right. So that means when a customer comes to you and wants to get cash, you can tell your customer because the customer cannot, you can't debit the customer above 20,000 So what you can do is the customer can transfer to the account number on your POS and POS is going to pick that particular transaction as a withdrawal transaction and it's going to process it as a withdrawal transaction and it's not going to be affected by this um, policy. That means you can even do a transaction worth of 100 plus, 500 plus, and it's, we still count as a withdrawal transaction and it's not going to be affected by this policy. So that's a very good news. All right, so how do you, um, how do you manage this? If you have not watched my video on how to um, use the POS transfer feature on MoneyPoint, I would advise you pause this video, um, search on YouTube, I have a video on that. For the sake of time, I may not be able to start explaining how to use it. I've already done a previous video on that. So go to YouTube, search, and you get the video on that so you can watch that then you can come back and continue from this particular bit. all right so basically we all know that if this policy should stand the issue you may have may not just be you being um unable to debit card but also there will be scarcity of cash all right this is very important to note that this number three policy is not only going to affect you um, not being able to debit people's card above 20,000, but that there will be scarcity in cash. All right, so how do I mean by that? All right, so let's assume the only uh, money that people can process is 20,000 naira. That means most people will choose to um, do transfer to get cash using the POS transfer. But what about you as a business owner? Where will you get your cash from? Remember, you can't go to the bank to get cash. All right, because the policy is also affecting you as an individual, all right? So I'll be sharing with you some basic, some tips that you can use, and from those um, angles you can process your cash. Number one, you have to build um, a relationship and a connection with um, other business owners, other business owners like supermarket, um, filling station, market humans, especially for those that are in the um, rural area all right so you have to build a connection a cordial relationship with them because now these people will be having more of cash because believe believe this i'm about to say you cannot have a perfect market system all right so even if this policy stands there will still be people using cash this policy cannot totally wipe out the usage of physical cash all right so that means we have people having excess cash and we have some people looking for cash because basically some businesses like um, filling stations, supermarkets, we still be getting cash because people can still process buy fuel of 10,000, 15,000. So those people, will, those guys will be having cash. And you as the POS owner, this is the right time to meet those guys, connect with those guys, all right? Push, they can push their cash to you because these guys will not even want to go to the bank to deposit their money, all right? So that is almost like, um, a mutualistic relationship where the both parties are benefiting all right both parties are benefiting from the transaction because these guys will not want to go and deposit their money in the bank all right because of the processing fee and stuff like that so they will prefer you as um a bill a business owner using a money point PS coming to them and getting cash from them so you can also source funds from those guys you can source funds from the um, police station guys, the supermarket guys that will be processing cash and we have more of cash and they will want to disburse, that means they want to let go of their cash to get money in the account. 
So you can build a cordial relationship with them. That is how you can get your cash. So we've been able to settle the fact that you can still process your transaction using the POS transfer and the fact that um, you can source your cash outside um, going to the bank, all right? I think that's very, very important to note that you can source your cash outside going to the bank. Remember to like this video, subscribe, and also share this video. This is a very, very important um, matter that um, I'm addressing right now. All right, so now, knowing this, using the first policy that I read earlier, that um, maximum cash withdrawal per counter, and also the maximum cash withdrawal on ATM and POS is now 20,000 naira. All right, so as a um, business owner using a POS, this is also an advantage. It's also going to add up as an advantage to you. Why am I saying that? All right, take these guys. People, um, the number of people going to ATM is going to drastically reduce. Why? Because the ATM does not have this other method I've shared with you. There's no um, option. There's no option. Is that you are going to withdraw less than 20,000 or you are not going to withdraw. But since people want to get cash above 20,000, that means you are the only source of them getting cash. This is very simple, guys. You are the only source of them getting cash. So the best thing to do in this situation, in this um, season, is to ensure you follow the tips I've shared. Aside PlayStation, there are many more guys that may be interested in partnering with you on disbursing their cash daily. Aside from the station, there are other business women that will not necessarily receive transfer as medium of getting money, especially people that run small businesses that you don't have to pay big amounts to buy um, products from them, maybe 10,000, 20,000, 15,000. These people will still be collecting cash. Do you understand? These people will still be collecting cash. Do you get this guy? That means these people will be having more cash. You meet them, you get cash from them. Um, you are the only option. The ATM. Um, Automated teller machine is out of the option because it can only give 20,000, but you can do more. Why? Because you have the POS transfer feature. All right. So the major thing you should look out for is sourcing for cash. If you can do this, you will remain in the business. In fact, you will do better than you were doing formerly. All right. If you can source for cash, because there, will, there may be cash scarcity because people will do more of online transactions. So you can receive your transaction payment on the POS transfer using the money points POS. You're, if you have not watched my video on that, I would advise you pause this, go back and watch how to use the money points POS transfer. So you break that barrier, you break the barrier of cash. All right, guys. Um, Twenty thousand naira. So basically. And for those that will be having questions, you have been, or oh, there's something you want me to talk about that I did not address, that uh, there's an issue you want me to address that I did not address, you can also drop it on the comment section and I will attend to your questions. And also, um, I will advise for those that can register your business, register your business so that at least you can um, be able to transact higher amounts. Register your business so that you can be able to transact higher amounts. And this period of online transfer is um, a very important period where you have to be very careful, all right? So ensure that um, you pay transaction that you have received. I've made previous videos on how to identify fake alerts. I've made previous video on um, the three most important scam method that you should know if you have a POS. So I will not be going back to the recap of those videos. So you can search them on YouTube. They are very, very important videos that you should know. Um, how to identify fake alert, um, how not to get scammed online, um, three basic scam methods that people use to scam POS on us. So make sure you are acquainted with these videos and you know those things very, very well. All right, guys, I believe this video must have helped you. If you have any question, you can drop it on the comment section. If you have anything you want to ask, you can drop it on the comment section and I will attend to your question. Cheers, guys, and God bless.